hello everyone welcome you all on my youtube channel mind your choices so this video is related with law of indices part 2 yesterday from class 8 i already completed question number 1 and 2 today i'm going to start question number 4 you as you can see on your screen so let's take a start now question number 4 we have to simplify number 4 we have to simplify and number a question is x power a plus b by x power c plus b into x power c plus d by x power d plus a now look at here how to solve this type of question you can see here base same and in divide base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write here x power a plus b if here is plus c then we have to write minus a if plus b we have to write on minus b base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so this two we have to subtract power we have to subtract so thing once when here is plus we have to write minus if plus we have to write minus but if minus we have to write on plus change the sign second one also same base same and in divide we have to subtract the power when you subtract write on the c plus d we have to write on c plus d here is plus d so we have to write minus d here is plus a so we have to write minus a if minus we have to write on plus if plus we have to write on minus now you can see here we can cancel b and b one positive one negative so what is remaining here x power a minus c similarly this side also you can cancel d and d remaining c minus a now again base same and in multiply we have to add the power so x power a minus c plus c minus a now base same and in multiply we have to add the powers we have to add here okay now you can see c and c cancel a and a cancel so what is remaining x power 0 if nothing remaining so we have to write on 0 and x power 0 is equal to 1 hope you understand this number a now look at number b and the question number b is x power p plus q by x power q plus r into x power r plus s by x power p plus s now you can see here base same xx base same and in divide what we have to do we have to subtract the power i gave you already formula a power m divided by a power n or a power m divided by a power n we can write a power m minus n we have to subtract the power when base same and in divide we have to subtract the power here also base same and in divide either in the form of this or in the form of this we have to subtract the power both in the form of division only here also same you can see base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write here x power p plus q right on this one p plus q then minus q and here is plus r so we have to write minus r if positive we have to write negative if positive we have to write on negative but if here negative we have to write positive suppose here is minus r then we have to write here plus r into x power you can see here also same base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so r plus s this one r plus s right here this one p plus s is here so minus p minus s both positive so we have to write both in the form of negative now you can see here q and q cancel so what is remaining here x power p minus r into x power you can write point also point also means into you can see here here cancel is s s one positive one negative so remaining r minus p again you can see base same and in multiply we have to add the power so x power here is what is here p minus r so you have to write p minus r plus r minus p minus p when plus then no need to change the sign if positive then we have to write positive if negative we have to write on negative when plus but if minus we have to change now you can see here p and p cancel r and r cancel remaining x power 0 x power 0 means 1 hope you understand this question number b now look at question number c this also we have to do in same process you can see here base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write here a power w plus x here is minus x here is plus w so we have to write minus w if positive we have to write negative if positive we have to write on negative i will show you if negative then how to write on positive now again 
we get here base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write here y plus z minus w minus y here is w so we have to write minus w here is plus y so we have to write on minus y now you can see here we can cancel x x cancel one positive one negative cancel here also we can cancel w w we can cancel so what is remaining here a power zero this side you can see here uh, y and y cancelled so remaining here a power um, z minus w a power 0 means 1 any number power 0 means 1 any number power 0 means 1 and remaining here a power z minus w when you multiply we get a power z minus w hope you understand this uh, question number c now look at question number d now look at here same base same and in divide we have to subtract the power but look at here here is minus so how to write look at properly base same and in divide subtract the power so a power we have to write m plus n okay this one m plus n here is positive m so we have to write on negative m here is negative n we have to write positive n so if plus we have to write minus if minus we have to write on plus base same and in divide subtract the power subtract the power means when positive we have to write negative when negative we have to write on positive hope you understand this one if plus we have to write minus if minus we have to write on plus similarly this one also base same and in divide we have to subtract the power first of all write on this n plus p we can write here n plus p here is 3n so we have to write minus 3n here is plus p so we have to write on minus p hope you understand up to here and after this you can see here n and n m m cancel one positive one negative so we can cancel so a power n plus n 2n into a power you can see here p and p cancel n minus 3n we can get here minus 2n mm -hmm plus minus minus we have to subtract 3 is greater in front of 3 negative so we have to write on negative here 2 3n minus n means 2n now again you can see here base same n in multiply we have to add the power but but we have to add 2n but here is minus so we have to write plus minus what happened minus if you not understand you write plus and minus 2n also one step more you can write look at properly here base same and in multiply we have to add the power this power 2n here plus this one this power minus 2n you can write direct plus minus minus also you can write direct one step a power 2n minus 2n from here direct also you can write down because plus minus it will be minus now a power when both cancelled here so zero and any number power zero any variable power zero means one variable means a b c and number you know already hope you understand this question number d now look at next number you can see question number e same base same and in divide we have to subtract the power just subtract this one x power we have to subtract write on a plus c so write on a plus c here is plus b so we have to write minus b it is plus a so we have to write on minus a base same and in divide we have to subtract the powers power means a plus c and b plus a so we have to subtract into x power here also same base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so write on upper one power first of all b plus c minus a then down one here is plus 2c so what we have to write minus 2c if it is minus a we have to write on plus a we have to interchange the sign if positive we have to write negative if negative we have to write on positive base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so if plus we have to write minus if minus we have to write on plus hope you understand this after this line you can see here a and a cancel so x power remaining c minus b into x power you can see here uh, we can cancelled positive a and negative a and remaining what is here here is b so b this two are like terms so we can subtract plus c minus 2c means minus c plus minus minus we have to subtract and 2c minus 1 means 1 okay now again look at here base same and in multiply this point was multiply base same and in multiply we have to add the power so x power c minus b plus b minus c so x power you can see here b and b cancel c also cancelled so remaining zero if nothing here so we can write zero x power zero means one any variable power zero means one any number power zero means one this one uh, question number four e hope you understand this question number e now look at question number f 
in question number f also number is given now base means two here before variables are there base but here numbers are there now base means two and powers means a plus 2b a minus 2b now you can see here base same and in divide what we have to do we have to subtract the power so we can write here two power right on this a plus 2b we have to write here a plus uh, 2b okay this one is 2 here is plus a so we have to write minus a if minus 2b so we have to write plus 2b we have to change the sign if plus we have to write minus if minus we have to write on plus base same and in divide we have to subtract the power similarly this one here also same you can see here base same and in divide we have to subtract the power so we can write 2 power here is b minus a so write on b minus a and this one is here is plus 5a so we have to write minus 5b and here is minus a so we have to write plus a we have to change the sign base same and in divide we have to subtract the power it means if positive we have to write negative if negative we have to write positive because we have to subtract the power one minus and another minus is here minus minus it will be plus okay hope you understand this one and after that just we have to solve mm, you can see a and a cancelled so 2 power 2b plus 2b 4b into 2 power you can see here a and a we can cancel b minus 5b it will be minus 4b plus minus minus we have to subtract minus 5 here plus 1 minus 5 plus 1 means like this minus 5 and here is nothing than 1 plus 1 is equal to minus 4 so we have to write here minus 4b now you can see again base same and in multiply we have to add the power so 2 power 4b minus 4b when both cancelled so remaining at 2 power 0 2 power 0 means 1 any number power 0 means 1 hope you understand today's uh, video related with the uh, law of indices question number 4 now in next video i will upload question number 5 and similarly 6 and 7 if you are new on my channel please hit the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos and if you till now if you didn't subscribe please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share with your friends sharing is caring please support and share with your friends thank you so much if you understand please comment and which kind of uh, problem you need which exercise uh, you need on my youtube channel please uh, uh, comment so as soon as possible i'll bring for you thank you so much uh, keep in touch and thanks for watching till last